First and foremost, big news from the Supreme Court. Yeah, the High Court has overturned the bribery conviction of former Governor Bob McDonald. Not only that, but it's the unanimous way in which the eight justices did it. Ten on your side, Andy Fox has been covering this case for more than two years now and tells us exactly what this means, Andy. Well, Stephanie and Laura, it is clear that Bob McDonald just had the best day that he's had in the last two and a half years of his life when his legal problems began. The court made it very clear that his bribery conviction, they sent it back to the Fourth Circuit Court ruling the jury instructions were erroneous, and I'm quoting here, and the jury may have convicted Governor McDonald for conduct that is not unlawful. That McDonald setting up a meeting, talking to another official, or organizing an event for businessman Johnny Williams does not fit the definition of an official act. To ultimately get the state labs to test Williams' dietary supplement, Anatoblock, in exchange for $175,000 in loans and gifts given to the former governor and his family. Justices say that's not enough. That's what they say specifically in here. Arranging a meeting is not an official act, which is all this case is about. Now, if you arrange a meeting and then strongly suggest to the official, by the way, you need to do what this guy wants, that is an official act, and that's something that he could be convicted for. But just arranging the meeting, they found, is not going to be enough, and the jury could have decided it on that basis. He was never told to make a certain decision. Uh, once the decision came out that those uh, schools would not test an out block, uh, Governor McDonald never followed up by saying, why have you done this? I order you to reverse your decision. Please reconsider it. He didn't do any of that. He accepted the decision of the government official at that point. And of course, Bob McDonald has been saying he's innocent all the way through this entire process. Now, the case is remanded back to the Fourth Circuit. They will take a look at it. They will go over the court documents. They will say, is there anything here that rises to this official act definition that the Supreme Court just gave us? McDonald had no comment at all today because he does realize his legal situation is still evolving. The U.S. Attorney's Office that prosecuted McDonald sent us a statement. They would only say in this statement, the U.S. Attorney's Office is reviewing the Supreme Court's decision in the McDonald manner and does not have any further comment at this time. A lot coming up on this story coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 5 and 6. In the newsroom, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. Now, McDonald's legal battle began more than two years ago. I put together a brief timeline to show you. On January 21st, 2014, the former governor and his wife, Maureen, were indicted on federal corruption charges for receiving improper gifts and loans from a Virginia businessman. On September 4th, 2014, a federal jury convicted McDonald on 11 counts, his wife on nine counts. He was sentenced on January 6, 2015 to two years in prison. His wife was sentenced to 12 months and a day in prison in February, on the February 20th, that is. Both have been out on bond during this appeals process. On July 10, 2015, the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals upheld the convictions. And then today, of course, the U.S. Supreme Court unanimously overturned the bribery conviction. We have a special page on wavy.com dedicated to the McDonald case. You can read today's ruling, reaction, and more.